guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Dee Dee with Dee Dee Loves Beauty, and I'm coming here today with a Ulta skincare and beauty haul for you guys. I have been interested in updating my skincare routine and also want to pick up some of the beauty products that I've been seeing here on Instagram and YouTube lately that I wanted to try. So I just want to go pick up a few things from Ulta and I want to come share them with you guys to show you what I got, and then I want to do a little bit of talking about why I'm starting to venture off into this new area of skincare. If you like this video, please remember to give me a thumbs up. Please make sure you subscribe, share it with somebody that you feel like would be interested in this video, or go ahead and check out some of my old videos that I've uploaded if you have not caught up with them as well. I do beauty, hair, and skincare and home decor here on this channel. So if you're interested in any of those things, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So if you're interested in this Ulta haul, please keep on watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I do want to talk about is um, the skincare products that I picked up from Ulta. I, for some reason, I've been going on this journey of trying to go um, the clean route. And what I mean by that is um, things that have no sulfates, no parabens, things like that in it. So I started off first, just to give you some backstory, I started off first with doing it with um, my hair care products. So I am natural and I like to use products that are natural and clean as well. So I went to Ulta and I checked out um, some products that they claim to be skin that they um, claim to be toxic and clean. And I think also with Sephora, they have a line of clean products as well. So I definitely wanted to try those out. So I went ahead and just picked up a few items. I by no means have everything that I need right now, but I did want to share it, um, the things that I did pick up. So if you are someone that tries to go for clean and toxic free um, skincare items and you have any suggestions for me, please let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to check those out because again, this is the beginning of the, this is the beginning of my journey um, as it comes to skincare so I don't know everything for all I know these items that I picked up today they may not even be um, what exactly that I'm looking for um, as far as no toxins so without further ado let's go ahead and get into it so the first two things that I picked up here are by the brand Pacifica And this first item are makeup removing wipes and they claim to be sulfate free plus paraben free, easily remove makeup and get glowing. It's 100% vegan and cruelty free and this is in, um, it's called Crystal Melon and it says it's cucumber and watermelon facial towelettes. So typically with my facial wipes, I just usually use the Neutrogena ones. Those are always the ones that I go buy in the store. And of course, um, I used to pick up just the regular ones and then I decided to pick up the ones that were fragrance free, but I still feel like that wasn't doing enough. So I did want to reach out and find out some other makeup remover wipes that I could purchase. So I did pick up these makeup remover wipes and again I picked these up from Ulta so I do have my receipt here these were on sale and these were um, four dollars and fifty cents and it comes with 30 in the pack so I thought that was a really good deal um, I won't be losing anything by trying these out so I went ahead and picked them up the next thing that I picked up is also by the brand Pacifica and it is their Natural Skin Care Purified Coconut Water Cleansing Wipes. And this also says that it's sulfate free and paraben free, easily cleanse and tone skin while removing dirt and oil without additional water. So these were also $4.50. Now, with both of these, I was a bit confused because I'm not quite sure what the difference is between the two. Originally, I thought that one of them was going to remove the makeup and then maybe I would have to wash the skin, um, wash my face after. So it says coconut water infused natural towelettes, gently remove toxins, dirt, oil, and pollutants from your skin with no rinsing needed. Papaya, a natural exfoliant in combination with aloe vera and soothing something makes skin loving wipes an indispensable part of your daily routine for healthy skin 
not quite sure what the difference is between the two. I don't know if it's just two different items in Pacifica line, you know how they have different types. So maybe that's the difference between the two, but I will do a little bit more research because I don't want to use these wipes and then have to actually wipe my face afterwards and not know it. So I'm going to do a little bit more research on the wipes. But the Pacifica brand is in Ulta. I've seen it several times. Um, I think they carry it in Target as well. I'm not sure about um, other drugstore places, but I'm interested in the line because I do know that along with skincare, they also have um, beauty products as well. So I do want to eventually try those out. I did see a foundation at Ulta, but I was running out of time and I didn't have time to try them. But I am interested in checking out to see if any of their foundations would fit me as well. So that's the first thing that I picked up was the skincare wipes. Next thing I picked up was from Shea Moisture and this is their coconut, green coconut and activated charcoal body wash with white tea and lemon balm and this says it's purifying and hydrating. It has no parabens, no um, phthalates, no propylene glycol, no mineral oil, no sulfates, no animal testing. So it is cruelty free. It is certified organic. So really quickly, what I mean by certified organic, it basically means that it's products that have been produced without the use of pesticides, synthetic fertilizers, GMOs, sewage, ionizing radiation, as well as antibiotics and growth hormones. I know that all sounds very scary, but yes, guys, a lot of these things are in the products that we use and put on our face and our bodies daily. So we definitely need to be more careful about those things which um, I'm definitely interested in. Um, it was just something that spoke to me about this um, body wash. It just says that green coconut delivers a burst of mineral and vitamin enriched revitalizing hydration. Activated charcoal observes dirt impurities and product buildup to purify pores. And white tea helps nourish and restore skin. So I have seen additional Shea Moisture body wash um, lines. I saw three of them in Ulta when I just went. Um, but this one, like I said, just spoke to me. I don't know. It's because it's purifying and hydrating. And I do have tend to have um, dry skin. So I definitely wanted to pick it up and try it. Um, so I did get this. This is the body wash from Shea Moisture. So um, if any of these products you're interested in and you want me to give you an update on how they're working with me, let me know and I'll do an additional video for you guys. The next thing I picked up was also from Shea Moisture. Oh, I'm sorry. And that body wash retails for... Um, it was $13.99, but I got 20% off because they had a sale right now. So the next thing I picked up, and this box is all beat up, but it was like this in um, Ulta, but I bought it anyway because it was on sale. This um, kit was... $6.75 but this is their African black soap line it's the clarifying trio skincare kit and it actually comes with let's see it comes with the bamboo charcoal hydrating jelly moisturizer and it comes with the um, African black soap clarifying facial wash and scrub And lastly, it comes with a African Black Soap Clarifying Mud Mask. So I'm really interested in using these products. Honestly, I picked them up thinking it was the body products, but it's the facial products. So I don't know if I want to keep them or use them. I did not purchase them for my face. I was just looking for additional body products to get. But um, it's for blemish prone skin and... It's supposed to cleanse, clarify, and moisturize with these different products. I may still give it a try. I mean, who who knows? I may end up really liking the products. Um, but I have those as well. I do like the Shea Moisture line. I also use the Shea Moisture line for my hair as well. So I wanted to pick up some of the skincare products to see um, how they do with me as well. Um, the last thing that I picked up, which is under the clean... Um, the clean line of products is my favorite Burt's Bees 
pink grapefruit lip balm guys i love bird's bees lip balm i especially like this pink grapefruit one it's very moisturizing um it's all natural i used to use the eos um lip balms but i stopped using that because I don't know, I just feel like I had to apply it more um, than I do with these Burt Bees. And again, I'm trying to lean more towards um, organic products. And since this is 100% natural, I did want to try this. Um, I also know that Burt's Bees has other skincare products um, that I may eventually try to see. So if you're interested in these different um, things that I pick up, I mean, this is not going to be the end all be all. I will pick up more skincare products. So if you're interested in any of these things, please hit the like button and I'll just know that I can, can continue to do these hauls for you guys um, um, in the future. Said, that was everything that I got for um, the clean, toxin-free skincare products. So if you were here for that, that's the end of that section. So now I'm going to go into some beauty products that I picked up. And these are not um, clean by any means. I'm sure they are filled with lots of things that are bad for my skin. But hey, I have to start somewhere, right? So if you guys have any information for me, like I said, put it in the comments below. And then I can come back and do another video um, with 100% clean products. But until then, let's get into the rest of this haul. The first thing that I picked up here is this... Total Temptation Mascara. This is by Maybelline and I took it out the container. This is what it looks like out of the container. And I don't know, this was very random. This is very black. It says it's infused with coconut extract. With the before and after pictures, of course it looks good, but even if it wasn't that good, I think, you know, obviously, you know, that's what they do to try and get your attention. But it's very ironic. I always do stuff like this, guys. I actually just, side story here. I went and bought all of these new eyelashes, right? I bought a brand new mascara. I bought a brand new eyelash glue and everything because I wanted to, you know, get my lash game up. And then... I decided to go get individual lashes. So this is just the type of thing that I do. I buy stuff and then I can't even use it. So I won't be using that mascara on these individual lashes. I'm not going to be using the fake lashes. I'm not going to be using the eyelash glue. So I don't know how long these are going to last. We'll see. But I just bought a lot of this stuff for nothing. Whatever. That's just me. So sticking with the eye theme, the next thing that I picked up from Ulta, this is by Makeup Revolution. And you guys, I have seen this across YouTube. Um, I've seen people comparing it to the, what is it called? The P. Louise. I've seen people compare this to the P. Louise eyeshadow base as well. I haven't used that one, so I can't. Maybe I'll do a versus in the future, but I haven't used that one yet. The first one that I picked up, this is in the color medium. And it is the Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. And from what I've seen on YouTube here, apparently it's supposed to be like what you need in order to do cut creases. And I'm interested in it because I love a good cut crease, although I don't have it today. But I love doing cut creases, so if this can help me, you know, have my looks a little bit more bomb, I'm all for it. But, so I'm interested in seeing how that works out. And then another thing that I picked up, this wasn't from Ulta, this was from, actually from the beauty supply store. But this is from a brand called magic collection and it is their glitter eyeliner i'm interested in seeing how this turns out it's in the color rose gold i love a good glitter eyeliner so we'll see if that works i'm not sure All right, so the next thing i picked up was this maybelline new instant age rewind eraser dark circles treatment concealer now, of course, again, I've everything that I'm talking about today is these cosmetic products that I picked up. I've seen them across YouTube. So, 
I wanted to give it a try. Um, again, I haven't used this. Maybe I'll do a video with the first impressions, but I've heard that this concealer is bomb for a drugstore, and it's definitely one everybody should have um, in their possession. So I wanted to pick it up. Guys, I don't know if this is even my color. This is in the color caramel. I mean, I don't know if it'll be... I'm sure it's going to be more of a... Just looking at it in the tube, I'm thinking it's going to be more of a not as bold under eye concealer. I don't know, I could be completely wrong, but I'm gonna try it out and I'll let you guys know how I like it. And then the next thing I picked up was this Black Radiance Complexion Contour Palette. And this is in the medium to dark. And this is what it looks like in the inside. So it has the contour, the sculpt, and the highlight. So the people that I've seen do these videos, I was very interested. I wanted to see how it would work. Would it be a good contour color to use? It's very similar to me with the sleek contour um, kits. You know, I don't even know if they still carry these, but sleek makeup, I know it's in Ulta now. And they have the little contour kits as well. It's very um, reminiscent of that one. So when I see it, I think about that. I actually have the sleek makeup ones here in my um, collection, but I'm eager to use it to see what that's like. Saying this is the Milani um, Make It Last Setting Spray. I was interested in using this because I don't typically use uh, face sprays because I don't wear foundations for a long period of time. I usually just wear it if I'm going to an um, event, if I'm going out, and then I come home. So I usually wear foundation for probably about mm, four hours tops and then I take it off. So I really don't know if I even need one of those, but I did want to try it before I went to try and buy higher end um, face sprays. I usually just use my um, Evian face spray or I would use okay, or I would use the MAC Fix Plus and I would just spray it on my face after I do my makeup. But now I'm using this, so again, I'll let you guys know um, how it continues to work with my skin. I do have sensitive skin, so if I do feel like I'm starting a breakout or whatever, I will definitely discontinue the use and I'll let you guys know in a um, future foundation routine. That's everything that I have for the haul today. It wasn't too, too many products. All of these products are products that I purchased with my own money. It was things that I've seen that I definitely wanted to try for myself. You know, you can never um, know whether something will work for you because everybody's skin is different. I'm very um, excited about using these clean products on my face and I'm definitely excited about continuing on this journey to lead a clean and toxic free life. I know there are so many things that go into this and I'm sure everybody has their own opinion. I'm not trying to be perfect. I think everybody can do a little bit to live a better life. I will never be 100% you know toxin free. Um, you just can't be. There's, there's too many outside factors that play into it so it's just being unrealistic to me but I just want to make small changes in my life to get to um, a better lifestyle. So I try and purchase organic groceries I try and purchase organic cleaning products. Now I'm moving into skincare. Eventually I'll move into makeup. And I've also uh, dabbled in getting the organic and toxin free, fragrance free, uh, what is it called? The laundry detergent as well. I'm just showing you guys what I picked up from Ulta and attempting to get additional help in this area of my life. I know that I follow a couple YouTubers here that live clean lifestyles and they have clean products, but I'm just trying to take baby steps, right? You can't do everything all at once. You have to take baby steps, otherwise it, you won't last and you'll fall off. Just like when you're trying to do diets, just like when you're trying to change um, anything in your life, I think you should take it piece by piece and then eventually you'll get there. So I'm making baby steps all along with me on this journey. If you have any suggestions for skincare or if you have any suggestions for beauty or for um, even hair products, guys, because I know there are a lot of natural hair products out there that I'm just not aware of. I'm trying to watch my YouTube videos. I'm trying to get caught up on it. But again, 
it's just so much stuff out there but like I said before thank you guys for watching and tuning into this video if you clicked it please make sure you check um it's either over here or over here that subscribe button make sure you subscribe make sure you share and give me a thumbs up if you like this video until the next one I'll see you guys later bye